this is a big story. This was uh, it went very viral over the weekend, over the holidays. So if you don't know, Mickey Mouse has entered public domain. In this case, the Steamboat Willie version of Mickey Mouse from the 1928 film has entered public domain. And at 12.01, on, on the date that this became true, you got multiple trailers for multiple projects that seem to be implementing that version of Mickey into their work. The first one, of course, being Mickey's Mouse Trap. Uh, which if I had to get, I, I think I, I made a tweet about it. I said, it's, so it's FNAF meets Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's watch take a look at the trailer for I've this got one. It. I've got it here. So here we go, guys. This is for uh, Mickey's Mousetrap. I'm going to give a bad, I'm going to give a bad acting disclaimer on this okay. one. I am. You deserve the best party that we can throw. <laughs> I've seen some rejections in my time, but man, that was a good one. There's blood all over the jungle gym. Blood. Yes. Like completely in love with you already. It's totally disgusting. Put the phone down! Put the phone down, please! I was like, dude, I've already started. Gina, turn around, please! Gina! <laughs> they needed more work on his, on his costume. <laughs> Here it comes. he's dead. What? Like if he was in a horror movie, you'd never say, I'll be right back. Because then you don't. If you're gonna plagiarize from the movie Scream, at least do it right! Please! Please. The mouse is out. Where the hell did he go? <laughs> okay. He needed They're giving blood and honey a run for its money. He get it? They needed to be like a foot tall. Like they needed to get like Kane Hoder or Hodder or whatever his name is. They need like the tallest dude imaginable. Like that's the problem, right? The dude in Blood and Honey, the dude was just kind of wide. You need like they needed to get a pro wrestler. Like a like a, an undertaker height level get might have been no, out no, of their okay. budget there there's some there's some wrestling fans in the chat imagine if they had had braun Strowman, the dude behind that mask the dude's gigantic right then at least it's scary yeah i mean i think the mask was pretty good so it, this is this gonna be in theaters it yeah it's getting a theater release i think in march so we need to review that we, no we, we we'll review it so uh, i was double checking so he's got uh it, he doesn't have the gloves the other thing is like notice the eyes are black that's characteristic of the steamboat version of that a lot of people who yeah. are discussing this still believe that this could end up getting a lawsuit from disney my question is mm -hmm. if you were working on this before the copyright ran out does that matter Right? Does it matter that you waited to present it or that you were already working on it at that point? But a lot of people believe that he should, that, that they might end up actually getting a lawsuit. The thing is, though, like, you're, no one's mistaking this for Disney. No. Like, no yeah. one's mistaking this for a Disney property. It just, it would have been a more fun concept for this to happen in the theme park, but that's not an option. Yeah. For them. I, I feel like one of these should do it with like I saw somebody on, on Twitter saying when when I was talking about this, basically saying like um like what if they made it like a demon, like not a human character uh -huh. might be kind of more interesting. Well, wasn't that sort of the concept in Blood and Honey is that they're the actual characters, they're not just people in scary costumes. That's what it's supposed to be, that they're yeah. it's not a human being under a mask. But this one you see the mask off. You don't see the person's face, but you see the mask on the shelf. Yeah. So it's not a person. It's it's, it's a little a confusing, mask. but it looks funny. Yep. You know, not it's it's so bad it's good. Could be. There's also a trailer for a game called Mouse. Uh, we won't watch that one. But I go, think it's called 
Infestation In, 88. Oh, yes, Infestation 88. Um, uh, this looks pretty good um, from the visuals. You're like, you're, you have like the Steamboat Willie gloves on and you're like, shooting up all of these Steamboat Willie characters. Caleb Phillips, uh, Caleb Phillips says, uh, Blood and Honey was horrible. Yes, but it was fun. I had, I had fun <laughs> watching all of the gore happen in Blood and Honey. Yeah. And that's, that's coming out this year too, um, part two. Blood and Honey 2, Electric, Electric Boogaloo, Boogaloo is coming out this year. <laughs> so it's, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens to this, but it's not just those characters. Also, you've got Peter Pan. Peter Pan, the, the 1904 version of it, which would also include Tinkerbell. So we don't have to be stuck with the Disney Plus race swapped Tinkerbell. Yeah. Um, if creativity allows people to use these characters now. I think more power to the people yeah. and um, less power to Disney. It's uh, a good thing. Like that's what a lot of people were surprised that they didn't lobby harder, given that the last time that Steamboat Willie was supposed to go in the public domain was 2003, and they lobbied yeah. Congress to be able to extend that another 20 years. And a lot of people figured they would just do this again. I was on a stream. I, I was on. Uh, so if you guys don't like, sometimes I go on the stream called the Salty Nerd Podcast, and we were talking about this going into public domain on on Saturday mm -hmm. and uh, one of the hosts um, from the pop uh, from the po uh, the podcast bros was talking about uh, basically like copyright is their bread and butter right like they very very closely guard their intellectual property right. and they make it a nightmare on anyone that wants to even try and get a foot in the door like people can't make art based on the characters they grew up loving the it's a very big discussion amongst them so well Disney failed miserably at preparing for this to happen. They were too busy fighting with Ron DeSantis. They, yeah, they were too busy in the culture war fights and making shitty movies. They don't have any new crop of characters that can replace the iconic ones as these continually go into public domain in the next, I guess, century. I can't wait for the Batman. For There's Batman nothing to, to replace into, them. I can't wait till Batman goes in the public domain. It's going to be hilarious. What year is that again? It's in the next 10 years, I think. Um, DC is just so Well, no, a, a lot of characters are going in the public domain <laughs> in the next 10 years. So it's going to be very interesting. It's to so watch over for this. them. It feels that way, right? Like uh, in, in <laughs> And a lot I love of ways, to see it. Uh, I see a lot of people arguing about um, your method of production is like a big discussion that was happening over the weekend with people like uh, with Eric July and other people talking about like, look, the old business model, it's not working the same way anymore. Something I thought was really interesting was talking about like when, when a, like for instance, like when a comic book, it talks about how many it's sold. All that says is how many it's sold to a shop. Mm -hmm. But when an independent creator who crowdfunds or builds their own site has comics sold that's actually sold to a person actual customer it's not just si yeah. so somewhere sitting on a shelf right so i think as a lot of these properties go into public domain you know it's i feel like as a creative it might be kind of scary to want to do that because there's so many minefields about what you can and can't use that a lot of people because I, I remember zach from comics matter got really excited a couple years ago when he heard about when he found out about like public domain and how it worked but it was a kind of quelled after a while when he realized all of the hoops that have to be jumped through and the the risks you run when you get on the radar of a company like disney you can't take any inspiration from derivative works anything else right like like uh, the first thing i looked at was the eyes i'm like if there's anything else in those eyes it's immediately not doable because he may that's... not have a twinkle in his eye yeah <laughs> uh so in and, and they bury you in lawsuits and that's the thing you can't fight these companies when they yeah. want to sue you even if they're wrong you can't win yeah it doesn't matter that's yeah. the problem with the legal system is it is in a lot of ways rigged to either the rich or to corporatists who have the money to just bury you. It's uh, I mean, that's something that Mark Zuckerberg did for years with his competition, right? Just bury them in lawsuits and claim patent infringement and you're fine mm -hmm. because they can't fight you. Well, I guess we'll have to see how it goes for them and keep an eye on that. I, I, I do see there is a Peter Pan horror movie yes. in the works. Mm -hmm. It's called Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare. Yep. So, um, look, I, I, I don't like know why stuff. everyone's first thought when these characters go into public domain is like, let's make a horror Be slasher out of it. Because but <laughs> it's it, because it's the easiest way to not seem like you're trying to make something that's ripping off Disney. Because it's because, not kid it friendly. Be, it's not kid friendly. Yeah. Right. So the easiest way to be like, look, how can you even believe that I'm 
that I'm trying to claim that this is a Disney property when it's so different from it has everything to have that they make. Gore, nudity, everything yeah. Look, to the I'm, max. I'm here for it, right? Like in a in a politically correct world, I'm here to watch a whole bunch of like lovable characters commit atrocious acts to other people. Mm -hmm. It works for me. So, thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye guys.